York City's massive energy needs mean that a lot of electricity has to be brought in from elsewhere. And because Manhattan is an island, it has to go either over or under the water. The newest way it's going under is in the Harlem River Tunnel, which will bring electricity from a substation in Yonkers down to upper Manhattan. I'm standing in between the Bronx and Manhattan with project specialist Dan Harm. What are some of the challenges involved in actually going underwater with electricity? Well, we're going under the river. We're excavating through land, a shaft in the Bronx and in Manhattan. Uh, we're going down into bedrock, so hopefully the idea is to have a tunnel that is completely dry. We've seen some of the waterproofing in sheets that have been attached to the walls. Yes. How does that whole process work? Well, what happens is, is we excavate down through rock, and then we basically put on a layer of what we call shotcrete, which is spray-on concrete, which is then followed by this PVC line, which basically locks in and traps the water behind it. And then in front of that, we will go back in with our reinforcing steel and concrete. How long does this whole process take of, of digging the tunnel? Well, we started back in August of 08, uh, and what we went through today is basically we finished the tunnel construction, and now we're working on the shaft construction. So we're looking to be done with uh, the end product. should be completed by May of 2010. What are some of the other ways that electricity gets brought into Manhattan? Well, obviously we just walked through one of our tunnels. Con Edison actually owns and operates several other tunnels on our system. Typically what we try to do is find an easier route going through a bridge. We're adjacent to a bridge now, but due to the fact that it actually goes up and down does not give us that opportunity. So we had to find a new way to get across the river. What methods are you actually using to dig the tunnel? Okay, well, to start each shaft we're actually excavating down through soil. Uh, and as soon as we get to top of rock, we then perform a drill and blast method where we drill holes into the rock, uh, fill those holes with explosives, and take a shot. We typically did that in about 10 foot rounds. So we shoot a 10 foot round, excavate that 10 feet out, and repeat the process of drilling, loading, and excavating out that rock. We took that down to the invert of the shaft and then carried that under the river to the other shaft. What's the thing you like best about working on this project? We don't build many new tunnels, so this is very unique to Con Edison and the construction of it and actually building a tunnel underwater has been very unique and uh, good learning experience.